We know that there are a lot of things that can affect how we grow and develop inside the womb. For instance, a diet rich in fruit and vegetables can be good for the baby, whilst lifestyle choices such as smoking or drinking alcohol may have a negative effect. But there is one important organ that is often overlooked in all this, the placenta. Now, placentas are pretty cool. The placenta is formed from some of the embryo's own cells after it attaches to the wall of mum's womb. Once the placenta is formed and is sitting snugly in the womb, it has several important jobs to do. It must act as a barrier to mum's immune system and at the same time transport enough oxygen and nutrients across to baby and get rid of any waste products. Problems with the placenta during pregnancy can lead to the baby not growing as well as it should, meaning that it's too small at birth. In the UK, around 5% of babies are born small. Not only can this have an impact on the baby's life soon after birth, it can also influence health later in adulthood. The end of pregnancy is usually the end of the story for the placenta, but at St Mary's Hospital in Manchester, this is where my research begins. Despite the fact that a healthy placenta is crucial for a healthy baby, we still don't completely understand how it works. For example, we don't fully understand how the placenta gets nutrients from mum to baby, and so my research is trying to figure this out. I want to understand more about how the placenta transport nutrients in normal pregnancies and find out what might be going wrong in pregnancies where the baby is born very small. To do this, I asked pregnant women with both normal and very small babies to donate their placentas to research. After these women have given birth, I collect their placentas and bring them to the lab. Here I tie lots of little pieces of the placenta onto string and suspend these tiny bits in a solution that contains different amino acids, the building blocks that make up proteins. Each individual amino acid in the vial has a tiny radio label marker attached to it. This allows me to measure exactly how much each little bit of placenta transports over time. The data I gather from these experiments tells me more about how different placentas work inside the womb and gives an important insight into what was happening or perhaps going wrong in the pregnancies I see. There are currently no therapies available for women with small babies except premature delivery of their child. My research is crucial to enabling the development of novel treatment options for these women. Treatments that we hope will help more women have healthier pregnancies. My name is Kirsty McIntyre. I am a PhD student at the University of Manchester.